We have shelves. <laughs> Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. As you can see behind me, we finally have our shelves. If you've seen any of my kind of recent videos, like my last few, you'll notice that I was filming in front of a very blank wall, and that was because I was waiting to do these bookshelves. I'm gonna try to like back up as much as possible so you can see like the full overview. I do wanna eventually fill up this entire wall with shelves, but for now we just have the three because I don't have that many books yet. And then we have this little baby shelf here and I'm actually really excited about this little, this little shelf because I've decided to use it as like my TBR shelf. And as you can see, there are a couple of gaps in between that shelf and that's because I already do have plans. I thrifted something super cool to put in this corner and then this space is gonna be where I put my chair. So <laughs> our first step I think is gonna be to separate all of my books in two different piles of the ones that I have read and the ones that I have not read. But also I think I'm gonna make a third pile of all of my book of the month books just because they all have this like little square at the top that has like the book of the month logo on it, which actually reminds me, I forgot to pick out my books for June. So I need to do that today. <laughs> Now I just have to figure out how I want to actually arrange the books on the shelves and I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it library-esque so I'm gonna separate the hardcovers and the paperbacks but also if I can separate by genre. I don't know how many genres I actually have so I don't know how realistic that's gonna be because I don't want to have like 10 different categories and then one or two books in each one, you know what I'm saying? But also I want to keep in mind like pretty covers. So like anything that I really like, I wanna be able to show. So this is gonna take a while. I have literally no starting point. I just am playing this completely by ear and I am very, very uh, fickle and indecisive. <laughs> so who knows how this is gonna go, how long this is gonna take, but let's at least start off with the pile of books that we have already read, because I think that'll be a little bit easier. I think the easiest way to organize my like already read books is just to do them I think in the order that I read them, it's just kind of easier to add to the shelf that way because I literally just, just move this over a little bit, add my book, call it a day. <laughs> now I just have to actually try to remember what order I read everything in. Actually, I could use my Goodreads if I don't remember. And also, I didn't read this one yet. This is not supposed to be in this file, so this is going great already. I think these are the first four that I read. I read all of these last year. And then these are the four hardcovers that I read this year so far. Um, now to do our paperbacks. Uh, crap. <laughs> I'm gonna make this easy on myself and just grab my phone. So let's actually see if I got this correct so far. Midnight Library. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, I already made a mistake on the hardcovers. <laughs> Now our hardcovers are in order. Let's go ahead and go through my Goodreads list and organize the paperbacks. done and I'm gonna be honest I don't love the way it looks I definitely need to like mess around with it a little bit more but uh, a couple of things first off I did a horrible job at organizing my piles on the floor because there were several books not in the correct piles but also out of the ones that I've already read there are a couple of books that I've decided that I'm not going to be keeping aka I guess I'm gonna be like unhauling them all three of these books were like blind dates with books and 
Regardless of whether I liked them or not, it feels weird, honestly, to put them on my shelf because I didn't specifically pick them out. I know that's like literally the dumbest thing, but the books basically that I'm getting rid of are Night of the Jaguar, which this one I actually DNF'd, so I just, I just didn't like it. So that would make sense to get rid of. Uh, these two, not as much because honestly, I liked them. This one I actually liked a lot. This is Nerve, and this is essentially about like an online game show where you like upload dares like the game show gives you a list of dares and you film yourself like doing the dare upload it onto their website and then you get like prizes and stuff out of all three of these books this is the one that i would want to actually keep but it's like really dinged up and that just bothers me because i like to keep my books pristine <laughs> For example, <laughs> this is a book that I literally finished last night and you would never know that I ever read this except for maybe like the fingerprints. But like, I will literally read a book like this so that I'm not like fully opening the book and like creasing the cover and the spine. Um, so the fact that this is like super frayed and just like dinged up and scratched, it's got tape on it. Like this is just a rough looking book and I, I don't want it on my shelves. <laughs> um, and then the last one we have, I Am Watching You. And this one is a thriller as well. And I remember liking it while I was reading it, but honestly, couldn't tell you what it's about. I remember it's kind of like a murder happened and somebody on a train like saw something uh, and she gets kind of like stalked, I think, or something like that. Like she starts receiving letters. Yeah, she starts receiving like threatening letters and things like that. So I, I don't know. It was a decent enough book while I was reading it, but I couldn't tell you how it ended, what happened in the book. I just know the general premise, so. It clearly wasn't like a standout book. And again, there are plenty of books on my shelf that I read that I kind of feel so-so about, but because I didn't like pick this one myself, I just don't care to keep it. I don't know if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. I probably sound like an absolute psychopath, but <laughs> moving on. The only book that I don't have on my already read shelf that I have already read is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And that's basically because I want to figure out a way to like display this book specifically. Also, I do have one thing that I want to add that I am so, so stinking excited for. Uh, the second I saw this, I was like, I don't care how much it is, I need to have it. And thankfully, it was only like $8, so it worked out. <laughs> but it's this like giant glass, uh, like plant stand. How cool is that? I don't even know if you can see it. This is like one of my favorite things that I've ever thrifted. Okay, it doesn't look like much right now, but when I add the plant, it's gonna look so cute, which let me grab that, oh, right here. This is a kangaroo fern. I used to have one of these in one of my windows and uh, she, she unfortunately passed away. <laughs> I do not have a green thumb, so pretty much every plant that I bring into this room has a very, very high risk of death. <laughs> so here's to hoping this one does a lot better. I also have a few other plants to show you as well, which I'm pretty excited for. Uh, typically, I have not been able to keep very many plants in this room because it's just really dark, but this is the one wall that gets all the sunlight. So I'm gonna be packing this freaking bookshelf with as many plants as I can possibly get. And the first couple that I have are a couple of cacti. The only thing that I seem to be mildly successful with is pothos and cacti. So uh, I actually have a cactus, I'm gonna show you. This little guy was actually my backup plan for uh, this fern right here because she also has like the same kind of like hairy kind of -ness to it. This is a dog tail cactus, if I remember correctly. And I have had this for, I think like a year now, and she's thriving. Like this is the only thing that I own, aside from my pothos, that like is growing. So I definitely needed some cacti for the shelf. The first one is kind of like this like bulby kind of one, which I freaking love. I did have a bigger version of this and I had it in a jar and I accidentally like overwatered it and it got all soggy and died. I also had something very similar to this and it ended up having a very similar fate. My problem is I was putting the cacti in containers that held water and not drained it. So I just need to be a little bit better or like pay more attention when I'm watering, but I already know exactly what container I'm putting this in. I have this like lip planter. It's actually, I think a uh, like ashtray because it has this little like indent here, but I did get this off of Amazon and in some of the pictures it did show like plants inside of here. So. Uh, yeah, I basically had this almost exact plant in here and it just kind of like, if I can show you without stabbing myself, and it basically just like sticks out like that. And how freaking funny does that look? So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm just going to, I think, put some rocks in here to kind of help with drainage. And then I ended up getting this like really cool, like hairy looking uh, succulent as well. As you can see, I like really like spiky things. <laughs> 
And then I also got a couple of different IVs, which I'm very excited for. I've never had IV before. The second I saw this one specifically, I was like, that is perfect for a bookshelf because I feel like IV gives very much like that uh, dark academia type of vibe. But then also the fact that it's just kind of like a long viney type of thing. I think it'll look really pretty on a bookshelf. And this one in particular is already like perfect for the bookshelf because it's basically just like two long like tendrils. So we have this guy. Also got a, what is this? A Pixie Dixie Ivy. And it basically looks exactly the same as the other one, except smaller and more compact. And she is just so stinking cute. And she also has little tendrils already kind of growing. So I'm super excited about these plants. Now I think the next thing that I need to do, I've been putting it off, but I need to just get it done, is to tackle our to be red pile, which is even bigger than this one. And again, these are the books that I want to kind of do in that like library style where I separate them by like book cover and genre and author, yada, yada, yada. So I feel like this is gonna be quite the task. I was about to start separating the hardcovers from the paperbacks, but I just realized a quick, easy thing that I can do to kind of cut down this pile slightly <laughs> is to separate our TBR from our TBR. <laughs> All of the books that I plan to read this month I need to put here. So let's do that and just kind of like get that out of the way. I feel like that'll be a nice, quick, easy thing. Um, first off, right off the bat, all three of the Lynn Painter books that I need to read. I've been talking about a Lynn Painter readathon forever now, and we're finally doing it this month for real, for real. <laughs> and I did decide to do it in like a 24 hour, like reading vlog kind of style video. So we will for sure be doing that this week actually and then we do have a couple of books from our june tbr jar picks video that i just uploaded recently if you missed that one i'll leave it linked down below but uh we have once more with feeling and then also belladonna for that one and then we also have the first book in the shades of magic series okay i think i'm gonna like get rid of this box because it's too hard to like take the books out. <laughs> there were a couple of more books from the TBR jar video, but one of them I'm currently reading, so it's in my room. And then the other two were library books that I'm actually gonna be returning today. I've already read them, so uh, that's all of those. <laughs> and then the only other thing that I really had planned on at least starting this month is the Akatar series. So we'll go ahead and put this guy on there. Also, we literally just got two more books in the mail today, so. <laughs> We have to add more to the pile. I think the best way, the most efficient way for me to do this is to just kind of like set the camera down, put on a show. Uh, I'm currently watching the first season of Bridgerton for like the fourth time and then just kind of like get through it, you know? shelves are finished. I'm seriously so excited. 
it looks so good. <laughs> Here's kind of like an overall view of that entire wall and that little area. How stinking cute. I'm so excited, seriously. <laughs> uh, my whole plans from yesterday to make it kind of like a library system totally went out the window almost immediately. Uh, I just don't have enough books for that, which is one of the things that I was concerned about. I just don't have enough genres. And then also, I never thought I would be a rainbow shelf person, and I don't really feel like these shelves scream rainbow, but there's definitely no denying that there is some kind of color coordination going on. <laughs> uh, and it actually all started with this freaking little corner over here, this like red and black area. The books just look too good together and I couldn't stop. So yeah, we've got red, yellow, orange, blue. There's like a teeny tiny green section over here. Also something unexpected that I ended up doing. I ended up taking off so many dust jackets just because I feel like the actual hardcover themselves looked better. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these dust jackets because I do like them. Uh, like this one actually is one of my favorites from the bunch. <laughs> and I don't wanna get rid of it, but like what the F do I do about this? So literally everything I said yesterday and the thoughts that I had going into this project totally changed. Uh, but overall, I'm so excited about my shelves. I freaking love them. And I can't wait to film like my first video in front of these shelves. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's all that I have for this video. I uh, hope you guys have slash have had the most amazing of days and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye.